Welcome to the Slamming Door Sessions, a reality creation podcast where we slam the door to anything that is not our ideal. With your amazing hosts, Kristen M.F. Clark and authentic Cynthia Sena Serravache. Join us in a radical embodiment of our ideal states. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Slamming Door Sessions podcast. Welcome if you're new. My name is Cynthia, playing with wealthy woman Cynthia, and I'm here with the amazing Kristen M.F. Clark. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends and family so everyone can enjoy. Yes. And and be more of the master manifestors that you all are. So yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm going to let Kristen introduce the subject for today. Yay, we're so excited. So this subject was um, money, 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 money. And let's just let's just say it. money, 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 money. Uh, last week, um, episode twenty one. I, 22, I, 22, 22. I think, yeah. yeah we talked about how Cynthia mastered manifested out of thin air I think I'd combine the two words there um she manifested 900 euros or 900 dollars just just and what is out of thin air out of thin air is there's no logical uh, uh origin right like like you're looking for your car keys and you've looked on your kitchen table a thousand times and you're you're, you're frantic and everything and then all of a sudden you chill and you relax and you're like in the state of well you know it'll show up when it shows up or whatever you mental place you go and then all of a sudden there they are on, on the kitchen table and you're like I've looked there at least 10 times. They were not there. So that's out of thin air. And and you, you can listen to that episode because it's such a fun story. But I, I was thinking about that more and more. And I'm like, who is 900 out of thin air Cynthia compared to cynthia who doesn't have that right and so today we're just gonna really dive into manifesting money let's do this guys let's stop playing the game of how let's just stop that and let's dive into success stories and fun and the automatic i do this all the time and let's just become those people instead of you know, how do I do it? How do I do it? Because that is a space unto itself that is a black hole. And as long as you play in the black hole of I'm not that, someday I'll be that or whatever, those are little worlds that you just get to play. And it's not a punishment. It's not anything wrong. It's just, it's time to get in your little rocket ship and blast off that, that planet. And let's go to the planet of I am. Ooh, I think I just gave it away. Anyway, yeah. let's go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love that introduction. I know, me too. This is what happens when I have coffee. So for <laughs> Cynthia, it's middle of the afternoon. But for me, it's, oh, dark 30. It's very early. It's 6 a.m. And so you guys will see me always drinking my coffee or water because oh, <laughs> I just got out of bed. All right, go, girl, go. So, who am I manifesting money out of thin air? A, an amount of money out of thin air that, you know, you can actually realize or say like, oh, nice. Because, you know, 900 euros could be a lot of money for some people and nothing from other people, right? So... For me, it was enough to catch my attention, you know, like, oh, something is different, you know, and that was for me such, it made me feel powerful, you know, and like I mentioned last time, it, it's not about the money, like my reaction when I realized that it's like, I mean, manifesting money is nice. And I've already manifested money before consciously and, um, you know, on purpose. But it was not out of thin air, 
right? And so the fact that this time was out of thin air, I celebrated the, the power, basically, you know? I celebrated the, the, the ability that we all have to be blown away by the things that we can do that before we thought were impossible. And I love that because I, I think that the more I play with conscious manifestation, the more it stops being a problem, like a problem solving mentality and it goes towards playing, you know? And what can I do now that before I thought it was impossible? What can I do now that I have never done before? You know, and it's always, um, I try to always pay attention that it's not, I like to be inspired by others, but I don't know, I don't want to compare myself to others. Like the only competition is with myself, you know, it's like, how can I be a more unstoppable version of myself than what, what I was five minutes ago? You know, it's always like this comparison with myself and inspiration from others you know <laughs> I think that is so important at least to me you know not to feel like oh this person is like look at what they are manifesting look at me here like oh only 900 euros you know or things like that <laughs> uh, so I really keep that in mind and so for me that moment was like holy cow <laughs> look at what I am able to do now you know like, look at how I have evolved and how for me, before that moment, that goal was an inspiration from other people. But to me, it had not happened yet in my life. So for me, it was like the, the celebration of, oh, my God, look how I have changed. You know, I really feel that it changed me and it changed how my relationship with the how as well, you know, like manifesting Ooh, out of thin air. Yeah, I know. Because manifesting out of thin air, every time you do it, um, you just get detached from the how a little more, you know. And I feel like doesn't matter. I feel like our, the relationship with the how can be different in different life areas, right? So maybe manifesting money it's like you don't care about the how you know you just go into the state you just imagine you just say an affirmation or whatever you want and you know like you don't need to think about or you're not worried about the how and maybe in another different life area you're just like I don't know health you just need to oh my god I need to know how this is gonna happen like I need to like if I take this medicine then I'm going to be fine like I know I'm going to be fine but I need to know how you know it's like yeah. the knowing the how gives like a it's like a soothing sensation you know it's like oh now I know it's possible because I figured out a way I figured out how this could happen how this could be possible for me and I feel like manifesting out of thin air especially with money like I mentioned before like money is a very important part of our lives to everyone you know like money is the way we interact with the world for everything and so manifesting money out of thin air the how when you manifest it out of thin air it's like you detach yourself from the how a little bit more you know and that is that is so how I felt when I did that it's like Yes, you know, like I get that <laughs> from the how even more and more and more and more because I see that the things that we want, even though we cannot see them with our physical eyes, they are still there. And we can become aware of them by moving into a different state, by being open to things happening in a different way right and when we do that we open the door to the possibility to become aware of them through a um, breach of incidents or out of thin air right and I love it and so for me I think the most the most important thing for 
every out of inner manifestation that I've had is this detachment from the how, you know, becoming more and more and more and more aware that there is no need for a how. Things can happen out of thin air without any logical explanation, without anybody doing anything at all, without anybody lifting a finger, including me. And the fulfillment of my desire is there always. Ooh, da da. <laughs> that was so, that, you know, it. I love the gentleness. You know, the not pushing, the not demanding, the not, uh, um, on Facebook, I'm part of a group, a Neville Goddard group, and it's amazing how many people in there are, you know, I have uh, rent due tomorrow, and I don't have the money, and I don't know, and, and I'm just sitting there going, that's a lot of really sad I am's in there, <laughs> and I, you know, it, it, for me, it's all about the I am over and over and over. It's like, what I am, am I playing with? And when I'm playing with a how, it's, you know, I am or I don't know how. And that is, that's just a state. It's just, and I, I had read recently where somebody had been talking about how we are actually, you know, if you figure out who you are on a God basis, on an energetic basis, you are a stateless awareness. And I was like, ooh, that, that's fancy. I like that, <laughs> you know, but it's for me, it's you're all of it, right? You get to be all of it. You get to be a, a stateless awareness. You get to be a stateful awareness. You get to be every state in between. And it's not this level of, and you get to play right and wrong, good and bad. And, and you get to play all of those. But ultimately, bottom line, you get to come back to the I am power, the I am strength. You get to come back to, oh, you know, I know how I did that. And I did that by not playing in how I, I did that by not by letting go. So before we started this today, I was talking to Cynthia about um, the the power of being fully aware of what is going on in you. And this isn't the right or wrong or the good or bad. And let's just erase all that. But when an invitation arises and there's a part of you going, oh, yeah, I got to do that. It's a class. It's a, you know, it's a seminar. It's a webinar or it's just going out with your friends Saturday night or whatever. That very first, oh, boy, for me, that is a clear indication of it's kind of a premonition of the energy you're going to be in while you're doing it. You know, you're going to be in this state of, oh boy, but there's this great book called The Five Second Rule, and she talks about in there how you have five seconds <laughs> before your mind comes in and comes in with all the worries and the fears and the, well, I'm not sure, there's all of that. Now, this is a, it, a whole, you do not have to be a slave to what I'm talking about. You don't have to have this in your reality at all. This is just something that I love to play with. And so I had a, a class come up recently about how to be a billionaire. You know, what do billionaires talk about? What do billionaires think about? It was, it was basically how to be a billionaire. And it was put on by Forbes magazine. So it's like this big, thing and there wasn't that oh yeah I want to take that you know out of excitement there was this homework feeling like yeah I probably should do this and right away I was like oh no if you were already who it is you want to be billionaire millionaire just have a, a, a promotion at work, whatever it is that's going to bring more money to you. If you were already that I am, if you were already that person, how would they think differently than you're thinking right now? 
right? How would they respond to this class differently than you are thinking right now? And I find so much power within that. I find and immediate uh, manifestations that I'm looking for within that. So, because it's a complete shift. When you're thinking, hmm, what would I do if you shifted states right there and then? You've just shifted states. And in that moment of thinking from the space of the billionaire, of the millionaire, of the $900 out of, out of thin air, that is a different person. And you can get really good at feeling the subtle differences in those states as Cynthia was just talking about. You do, you get, you get very good at feeling that subtle difference. So when I joke around that KMFC, Kristen MF Clark, is so radically different than Kristen Clark, I am not kidding. I am not, I'm not kidding. KMFC, when she steps into the room, I feel it. I know it. There is this this confidence. There is this no nonsense um, playing around with hows and and wait a minute, are you sure? And and things like that. She she does not go there. And so, if any of you were watching a one of the podcasts from a while ago, oh, actually we didn't. We did it off podcast. I was. Uh, I think. I don't know. I was. You know, playing around with should I do this or shouldn't I do uh, that? Yeah, and it was off, off podcast. Yeah, yeah, it was off recording. podcast. And Cynthia was great. She goes, "Well, let me do. I have one question for you. Would KMFC do that?" And I'm like, immediately, I heard the hell no. Well, that wasn't what she said. She said something a little fancier than hell. But, um, and it 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 was just solid. And yeah, I could still play with yeah, but. But that, that hell no was so powerful. There was so much definitive energy of this is who I am. You keep saying you're this person, so be this person. And so this week, I've gotten really, really committed to not wobbling back and forth with my thoughts. You know, the, 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 the multi-billionaire, self-made billionaire thinks a certain way, acts a certain way, celebrates a certain way that is different. And for me, it's about really just jacuzziing into that energy, really loving and, and taking the time to be with that decisiveness, you know, because for her, uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I just love everything you're saying because uh, one, you're talking about letting the state lead you, yeah. which is huge. And then you are talking about being in the state and how you live your life in that state, but not necessarily, you know, there is a difference in living your life in that state and acting as that person that you believe you would be in that state so basically you're not going and spending all your money because you say you say oh i'm a billionaire you know so i can i have i don't know 500 dollars in my account and but i'm a millionaire so i'm going to spend that money and i don't care <laughs> and so that is doing things in the physical world because you are or you want to be in a certain state but you can be I don't know, grabbing a pen as a billionaire. Like, how do you grab yeah. a pen as a millionaire? How do you drink your tea or your coffee as a billionaire? How do you walk down the street as a billionaire? You know, like there is no need to do things that you think you would be doing with the money that you have in the physical no. world to be that billionaire. Because if you are a billionaire, you are breathing as a billionaire, you are walking as a billionaire, like all the things that you do right now, every day in your life. How do you do them as a billionaire, you know, that have nothing to do with money? Like who, who are you as a billionaire? 
with other things in your life, you know, because I, I, you can, you are a different person. Like you are a different person the way, how do you sit as a beginner? How do you speak as a billionaire, you know? And all of these things. And it is so much fun to play with that. And I remember, uh, you know, when I was starting to play with a wealthy woman in the state, I was like, I was on a bus, right? Before I actually get out of my house, I was like, okay, I am going to be the wealthy woman, Cynthia. And so I... How do I sit on a bus as the wealthy woman, Cynthia? How do I walk down the street as a wealthy woman, Cynthia? And I was going to pick up some uh, skincare products from a skincare um, place here in France, right? And I was like, okay, I'm going, right? And I was I was just walking as this person, <laughs> no? I did not open my mouth, right? I was just, yeah, I'm here to pick up these products, right? And I, I, I don't know if I already told this uh, here in the in the podcast, but the 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 lady then gave me some samples, and it was like La Mer, Chanel, like all these expensive products. Like I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't even know that La Mer had samples <laughs> to give for free. But she gave me all these expensive samples that I had never received before right and I was like wow like she really picked up on this wealthy woman vibe right that I didn't I didn't need to open my mouth I didn't need to say anything but she just felt like oh this is a wealthy woman like I need to give her products that she's actually going to buy or that she's going to be interested in so I'm going to give her all the expensive samples <laughs> like all the expensive brands and when I I saw that I was like, wow, you know, I am the wealthy woman doing her everyday things. And it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Like it's everything that I do every day, but now I do it as the wealthy woman. And then the world reflects that back to me in the simple things, you know? And so it was so interesting that you were talking about doing these things as this person and and of course, letting your state lead um, instead of your mind or instead of the old state or, or instead of your circumstances deciding what you do is, no, I am going to do what I feel inspired to do from this state instead of doing what I feel inspired to do from fear or from my circumstances or from the old state if I'm wavering you know so yeah it's so 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 interesting and of course before doing all that you need to decide okay who am I right who am I as this billionaire what would I be thinking how would I be feeling and what would I be doing other than spending billions <laughs> <laughs> which is also important you know it's also important yeah. but it's not yeah. the only thing because as a person you are living your life as a billionaire and it's not just about the money like yeah. you are a billionaire in everything that you do it's just who you are now oh there's our title you are a billionaire in everything you do <laughs> that was well that that was just so beautiful and you know, I love what you said about, you know, are you letting the state lead or are you letting circumstances lead? I mean, that's everything. That's the bottom line right there. What are you letting lead you? What are you letting lead your thoughts? What are you letting lead your, yeah, like I love when you said sit. How do you sit as a billionaire? <laughs> but I swear to you, if you do that, like I was mm -hmm. sitting in the bus thinking like okay how do I sit as a billionaire and it's different than when I'm sitting as a not like a not yes. wealthy woman yeah yes it is there is a oh this is so good this is so huge because this leads a lot into um my the the little free class I'm doing today for people which is you know interacting with your future self because when you play with that future self oh there's just this relaxed energy and it, it that 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 it, that's just it there's you know yes money is not the root of all happiness but it is 
very important in all we want to do in all in all that we do do it 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 helps you interact with human beings all the way around the world everything you want to do basically needs money and so it helps with ease it helps with that relaxed so you're sitting in the bus going oh god you know i need money i need this i need to vibrate properly i need to do this i need to do that whereas when you are that person you don't play with any of those thoughts anymore you're not you're not in any of that concern anymore you there's a there's an entirely different thought pattern there's an entirely different way you sit there's an entirely different way that you interact with your reality so um it and it's so wonderful to play with because again this gorgeous house i'm in right now as much as um i love it it's not mine so i'm in the state of okay how would i walk around this house if it was mine if this was mine and again i'm it's not looking at oh well i wouldn't want that ha- that seat and that couch and this or i would you know it's not that it's just bringing in the state of mine you know it's it's a completely different way i'm using the kitchen it's a completely different way i'm you know outside raking or whatever it's a completely different person when i'm outside raking because you know i i want to keep this house clean for them that's a different person than when i'm doing it for me you know because i have pride in my home because I have pride. I mean, there's so much. There's so much there. And so, yeah, when we're sitting there focusing on and taking a class on money and focusing on money, it's coming from the space of I don't have. It's coming from the space of the circumstance leading. This, this, I'm in a circumstance where I don't have money, so I've got to take this class so I can have money. That's a completely different person than the person who sat down this morning to drink and is a billionaire drink their coffee got up out of bed how do you sleep at night as a billionaire when you wake up at 3 a.m what what are you waking up at 3 a.m as a billionaire how is that differently so you know when i go back to what i started with the whole uh you know how you would what are those first five seconds of making a decision it's in there that's the state leading is in that five seconds oh that's big that just hit me a little differently than it did before bigger a little more of a kathunk um it it, the state's within the five seconds and then after that five seconds here come other states and you just get to choose what do you want to play with and again as i said before this is this this isn't right or wrong or good or bad or you're gonna blow up the your whole reality if you don't do this right i mean look at cynthia 900 years out of thin air and she wasn't sitting there going am i drinking my my coffee as the out of thin air woman she wasn't playing that game you know she just the coolest thing for me is this Whenever I'm talking about something like this and something something new and exciting and feels powerful arises and makes me all excited, I take that as there's the shift right there. There's the new, there's me embodying the state. There's the state leading. And I don't need to do anything more than that. I don't, so I'm not saying you guys need to, <laughs> when you come off of this podcast, you have to oh am i doing this as the billionaire am i doing this as the billionaire am i doing it right you're gonna drive yourself nuts and you're just putting in a whole nother energy of i'm not that i have to now do that kind of play with the energy that just listening to us and and enjoying is all the thing is that's that's all you have to do because honestly that's the only thing your billionaire self would do your billionaire self would not be playing the game of Am I drinking my coffee as a billionaire? You know, again, we're talking about that relaxation when she, like she was saying, sitting on the bus. There's just this absence of the other states, the state of I'm not. There's, ooh, that was well said. There's just this absence. It's not there. 
So you're not worried. So you're not caring. You're not frantic. You're just, no. And then the state comes in and leads you. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you just said you just need to enjoy. And I think that is such a huge thing because when you move from, oh, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? To just enjoy being, you know? Like, okay, today I have chosen to be, feel, think like a billionaire. And I'm going to enjoy myself. Like, I'm going to enjoy this feeling I'm doing. I'm going to enjoy this new role, you know? And focusing on enjoying is such a helpful thing to do, yeah. I think. Yeah. Like, it is such... Um, a way to segue into the state, you know, instead of asking like, oh, am I doing this wrong? Am I doing this right? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? It's just like, I'm just going to enjoy myself, enjoy this feeling, enjoy this new version of me. Uh, and that's it. And then it's just going to arise. There's a surrender. There's just this beautiful surrender. So I've been reading the this book this week. Um, call it's by do you know who wim hof is in the netherlands the ice man <laughs> oh i think you mentioned yeah. him yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so this guy um will some you know you'll see everybody's seen a blip on him somewhere where this here's this guy surrounded by icebergs and he's in the water you know and yeah i know and he he teaches about this breathing method, you know, there's a billion breathing methods out there, but his is, you know, this deep breathing you do and um, it's kind of a meditative state. And then you go and you can get in ice cold water and he leads, he teaches at his, his place and, you know, supposedly this cures all sorts of ailments you have, you know, whatever I am you're playing with. And it's just, just this whole big process. And the book I was reading was fantastic because it was written from the space of a scientist who had studied WIM for a while and was posting a lot of what they were finding. Because this guy, they stuck him in this, he, he's blown like all these world records. The guy hiked Mount Everest above the death zone in his shorts, in his shorts and nothing else. He's, yeah, he, and he's just done a ton of stuff like that. Just showing people you can, what the power of the mind does, right? The power of the mind is it's bottom line, but power of the mind. But what I love about it is it's, it's, it, there's this surrender. There's this surrender to the cold. There's this surrender. So I've been, you know, you know, I have a jacuzzi here and I'll, in the past, I'd get in my bathing suit and I'd go out there to the jacuzzi, like wrapped in towels or, or, uh, you know, it's like, keep myself warm in this nice robe before I get in the jacuzzi, quick, get in the jacuzzi. And then sit there and go, I can't get out. It's too cold out there. Okay, okay, I got to get out. And uh, ooh, there's snow on the ground. What do I do? You know, and so I've been through the reading is, you know, I've been doing the deep breathing, which is fun. And I'm very aware that the deep breathing is not really what's doing this for me. It's me. It's the surrender. And so recently this past week i've been going and it's, it's cold i do not know celsius wise but it's it's below freezing outside and so that's in the negatives for celsius anyway i've been going outside with just slippers on my feet and just my bathing suit that's it and i'll walk to the jacuzzi not in a state of, I have to do this. I got to force, but just surrender. <laughs> I know it's so funny, but it's, there's a surrender. Go ahead. The girl never bothered me anyway. <laughs> I, know, I, I was singing that. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> and um, so I'm in the jacuzzi and I'm like going, okay. And there's, and it's windy. And so the, the chill factor is much lower. And I'm just like going, you know, I, I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to get to know a part of me that is not afraid of the cold is, does not get affected by the cold. And guys, I am a cactus. 
I get cold. And so I, I, and I've been doing this this whole week. I get out of the jacuzzi, dripping wet in, and there's snow everywhere and it's cold and shut the jacuzzi, put the lid on or stop and get, and I'm in a wet bathing suit. Um, stop and test the oh it needs a little more chlorine add chlorine it's in the middle of the night the wind's blowing it's cold it's freezing da, 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 da. and i'm fine i'm fine and on top of all that i come inside and i'll take a flipping cold shower because <laughs> that's another that's another challenge is to take a one minute cold not not lukewarm not like okay this is cold but i can handle it cold shower for 30 days and I'm like going, I can do this I can do this and I'm very aware the whole time that it's not because I'm deep breathing it's not because of this or that but it's because it's a state it's a state I've stepped into the state of this doesn't bother me a state of I'm fine so anyway one of the things Wim Hof did when he broke the uh, world record is they put him in this huge plexiglass box of ice and he's up to here in ice and then they had these things on his skin to see if it, the, his skin temperature changes. Doesn't change. Doesn't change at all. It stays nice and warm. In fact, he was so warm, he was melting the ice. <laughs> they had to keep having more ice. And this is a space that's like, it's freezing outside and there's snow everywhere and they've got him in this box of ice and all these people are watching and stuff. And he stayed, stayed in there for two hours. And he's also, he led a... Uh, because he wants to show that everybody can do this, he led a whole group of men up to Kilimanjaro, the mountain peak, in you know sub-zero temperatures and everything. And all of them were wearing shorts, and that's it, just a bathing suit, and that's it. One guy had a beanie on; somebody else had boots on. But and he led them all up there in record time. See, so, you, know, you can't climb Kilimanjaro without taking time to acclimate over weeks to the the elevation change same with everest and all that and yet he's like yes you can and he just does it he just does it and again we're coming back to yes you can do the method you can do the meditation you can do the deep breathing and give that the power of oh i'm able to do that because i'm doing this or you can just say it doesn't bother me you can move into the state it doesn't bother me. So it's been, it's been a fun experiment for me. It's been a fun, powerful realization. But what I've gotten the most out of doing this is that surrender. It's the, there is something so powerful when you, when something's hitting you like cold, because part of the reason they say cold hurts you know, is because your blood vessels clamp your, you know, your blood vessels have muscles. It's very fascinating. They have their own little tiny muscles. And what will happen when you, if you ever stepped out of a nice toasty warm house and you step out into sub-zero freezing temperature, it hurts. There is a pain level there. And that's because all your blood vessels go, they clamp down. Or if you've ever stuck your bare foot, into ice water or something in it it hurts and you're like oh, jerk away that's that clamping down so anyway when you surrender when you don't yank away when you you know because the minute you're in cold water there is this part of you that just it's like instinctual run <laughs> get the hell out of there right but instead of that tensing up and I got to sit here and handle this and force this and oh my God, I got to force it. I got to force it like your thoughts. But when you just surrender, when you just let go, there's just this let go. It, it, it's a visceral feeling of, of allowance, of acceptance, of, you know, everything that you don't feel like you should do. There's a fight. And the minute you just stop, you just let go. This different state rushes in. This whole different state rushes in again. I'm giving a method, you know, to, to uh, give you a hack to get to your state. And do you really need to play with hacks? No. But hey, like Cynthia said earlier, whatever it takes, you know, to get you into that state, that's fine. But 
again, I'm going to say the word and then let Cynthia go. Surrender. Surrender to your billionaire self. Surrender and see how that self interacts with taking a shower, going to the bathroom, whatever, differently than you do. Okay. <laughs> I love how you describe that feeling of surrendering. And I was thinking about it the other day uh, in regards to the thoughts, you know, when you have these negative thoughts that you know, like you should not be having, you know, it's like, oh no, I shouldn't be thinking these things and I have to stop it. I have to. And I was thinking, you know, related to affirmations yeah, and 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 the usual mental diet you know like I think in the beginning when we start learning about Neville Goddard the love assumption there is the mental diet you know and like how you have to think about what you want like as if you already had it and no negative thoughts and there is like a very strict seven day mental diet um it was emmet fox I, i'm i'm not sure oh. but it's like a, an audio book about the seven day mental diet and if you do it wrong once like if one of the seven days you think a negative thought then you have to start the seven days start again over again yeah yes. exactly and it was so funny because i was thinking now i see the mental diet, especially the affirmations in such a different way. Like I, I compare the mind with a child. If you, I don't know if, yeah, you have like you, you, you but I don't know if uh, anyone listening, if you have been around a child, like a, a small child around two years old, and they're doing something that you don't want them to do and you start telling them that stop 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 and they are going to be it's going to get worse you know? <laughs> it's going to escalate very quickly but it's if instead of telling them like stop you shouldn't be doing that stop 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 you tell them look at that butterfly they're going to be like <laughs> And they're going to stop doing the thing that you want them to stop doing. Uh, and it's going to be so easy and it's going to be fun for both of you. And I really see the mind in that way, you know, like you can actually tell the mind, like, stop thinking these negative things. Like you should not be thinking this. Like, stop, 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 stop. Or you can just show it the butterfly. You know? <laughs> uh, and just offer something uh like throw it a bone you know like distract the mind with something else and I just feel like it is such an easier way yeah you know and and such a more pleasant way to do the mental diet you know and even the affirmations like I kind of see affirmations like throwing a bone to the mind so that it does something instead of going to the negative thoughts you know yeah. and and it is, I guess, surrendering to the negative thoughts. It's like surrendering in a way of it's fine. You know, yeah. like the mind is doing that and it's fine. I just need to give it something to distract it and, and that's it. No big deal. You know, no big deal about the negative thoughts. And I feel that is such an, there is much more ease in this in viewing the mind like this and in viewing the the negative thoughts and how to deal with them in this way than the strict mental diet and affirmations and I shouldn't be doing this and blah 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 so yeah I don't I I was just you made me remember yes. that no you're so right you know it's like if you if you wake up in the morning every morning I meditate and I meditate like this and it's got to be like this Yes, it very quickly will become hard. It feels not hard, difficult to do, but hard like table, hard. There is this visceral hardness, like this is what I have to do. And all of a sudden that can become 
just this crutch of, you know, this, this is how you do it. And this is the only way to do it. And then, and, 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 and well, what happens when your, your apple cart gets turned upside down and you can't do that in the morning is your whole day going to, you know, and that, that is a very limited space to be in versus when you're in a very freeing space of trusting, trusting, you know, and letting it go because you're already that person. My God, you just reminded me. I was listening to someone the other day talking about scripting and how they they love scripting and how they use scripting every day and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, nice. Okay, sh sure, right? And But then at one point they said like, yeah, and I do it every day because if I don't do it, then I see like things start falling apart, blah, 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 blah. So I, in a way, it's like, I have to do it. And it's then fear. it was like, ooh, you know, yeah. like there is one thing. One thing is doing it because you love it, because you yes. enjoy it, because it gets you there, right? And the other thing is do it because if you don't. Because you're scared. Yeah, because if you don't, it's going to scrub your life. And then you're giving the power to the technique. And the power yes. is not in the technique. The power is in who you are and you don't need techniques to manifest you are free and that is the whole point I think that you do techniques to realize who you are and then you realize that you don't need the techniques yes. uh, and, and oh my god when I realized that it was like <laughs> my reaction like my reaction is that ah yes because I like scripting too blah, blah, blah. and then <laughs> because if I don't do it then it's good stuff my day and I was like oh no, I don't like that <laughs> know, that's like, not where I'm going <laughs> no like I'm going to freedom I'm yes. going to I am the power and I can choose to do scripting do nothing make a decision have one thought do affirmations like whatever but I decide and I am free yes. and yeah it, it is oh. such such an important I, thing. I, you know, every morning, not every morning, but a lot of times I, um, I get up and I immediately go sit down, um, on the couch and I'll do, and I just, I set my timer for three minutes and I'll do thank yous, just thank yous. Cause it feels so good to start. And, and a lot of times stuff arises, I'm saying thank you from a space of, you know, oh, thank you for this thing that I forgot I wanted. And I don't truly have it yet, but I get to say thank you anyway. And it just feels good. There's just, it's all that feeling of fun. And then the minute my timer goes off, I'll set it again. And I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do three minutes of thank yous for, you know, like congratulations for somebody like my son or my, as if I'm saying congratulations to them. It's that seeing that person gainfully employed type thing you know but already jumping ahead and going yeah you did it by the way some big things have happened from that just recently um and then the timer goes off and I'll do another three minutes of like isn't it wonderful or just just finding a sentence that moves me into the state right and just just jacuzzi but did I do that this morning no I didn't I got up I took a shower I you know got ready for our podcast and stuff but I'm still in the state of joy, fun, happy, you know, knowing that every version of who I was before this moment is always happy and joyful and excited and, and people could call lucky or whatever. But so recently I, I was in a congratulations space for my son and um, I just got a text from him saying, mom, I just got this job and, da, 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 da. and I'm like, damn right you did <laughs> and I, I I love this I love the freedom of not I have to do it if I don't do it my whole day is upset my whole day is screwed up and these teachers that will come out of the woodwork that say every day you've got to meditate for 10 hours and if you don't oh the Buddhists do it and the merry and it's like okay but <laughs> you play that game all you want <laughs> i'm not you know to me it's either you're the upper in power or you're a slave to the techniques love it Ooh, there's a title <laughs> 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 oh my gosh yes oh that, that was perfect right there <laughs>
That's the best thing to end on right there. Either you're the operant power or you're a slave to the techniques. You know, and you get to play in both sandboxes and it's not right or wrong or good or bad, but at some point you get tired of the sandbox and you want to get out. So get the fuck out and go, go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This podcast was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys i you know just just be the person just be it you know and if your mind wanders off and you forget to be that person and you don't you know you don't go to the bathroom as the billionaire or whatever that's okay you know you just just surrender surrender to joy enjoy oh my god this 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 life really is a blast um and it 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 it, it's 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 just this giant playground for you You, and you you can't do it wrong you can you get to play that you can because you're that badass but you just keep coming back keep coming and playing with us on this podcast and we'll just get bigger and better each time yay yay (laughs) play and enjoy right that's i think that's the bottom line just play and enjoy yeah yeah and just remember even when you remember that you're not playing there is a part of you that's going that was a blast let's do it again (laughs) that's okay all right guys thanks for joining with us and at any time reach out we're always here for you we love to interact with you guys And we'll see you on the next one. Yes. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye. Bye.